Hey everybody, Prepper Nurse One here. Today is Wednesday, June 27th, 2018. And as you can see, it is a very, very wet, rainy day here at the homestead today. Uh, we were getting some work done this morning, which I'll do in another video. But uh, it's raining nice and steady now, so I thought I would do a video. And uh, title of the to uh, topic of the video, are we headed for a second civil war? And uh, I think the difference, though, this time, if there was one, well, let's, let's go into a thing that... They did a survey recently where 31% of registered voters said that it is very likely that within the next five years we will be within, in a civil war. And uh, it's basically based, they said, on uh, the Trump's policies and, uh, and stuff like that. So uh, there's you know people that believe that we're going to be headed for a second civil war. Now the difference would be that instead of like the first civil war where it was the North against the South, I think this time... It would be, you know, your liberal thinking people against your more conservative, or as I like to say for the most part, the silent majority. There's a lot of the silent majority um, that are out there that let a lot go. They let a lot slide. And, uh, you know, we're not, and I, I consider myself part of the silent majority. I guess I, I would have to, because um, I'm definitely not a liberal. Uh, but, you know, it's... Uh, you know, I'm, I have a, you know, live and let live type of policy in my own way. You know, you do what you want to do with your life, and I'll do what I want to do with mine. But there's so many people out there that are trying to enforce their views onto somebody else. Um, anything from, you know, making a cake for a gay couple, and they didn't want to do it because of religious reasons, and they were crucified, these people were. Now... I think, you know, any business has the right to refuse. And just like with the uh, press secretary uh, being refused to, to be served at that restaurant because, you know, of, she's the press secretary for the, for the president. And so they refuse to serve her. Um, any business, in my opinion, I'm giving you my opinion, has the right to refuse service for whatever reasons. Uh, there's a story where, um, and I, this is a true story, where Jane Fonda, when she was with um, Ted, uh, oh my God, I'm trying to think what his last name is there. Anyway, um, when she, she when she was with him, and they were in Colorado, and there was a restaurant, and it was a quite a long waiting list, and uh, so you know they demanded to be seated right away because do you know who I am type of situation. Well, the owner of the restaurant came out and told her to get the F out of his restaurant and never come back. And the reason that he did that was because he was a Vietnam veteran. And anybody that knows the history of Jane Fonda, um, you know, she betrayed our country, betrayed our men, went over there, you know, and uh, men were beaten and died because she gave the information that they had passed on to her at the Hanoi Hilton there in uh, Prisoners of War. So... I, I don't have a lot of respect for Jane Fonda. I think she's a piece of garbage, uh, you know, because I'm a big believer. You always you support your troops no matter what. If you agree with the war or disagree with the war, you support our boys that uh, they don't have a say in it. They, you know, they're in the military, and back then they were drafted, so it wasn't like even a lot of them wanted to be there. So, uh, you know, a whole different thing. So, But uh, getting off topic, of course. But anyway... Do I believe we're going to be in a civil war within inside of five years? You know, I would hope not. I absolutely would hope not. But this civil war, if there's going to be one, it would be more, uh, uh, you know, the liberal-minded people against what I would, like I said, what I would call the silent majority. And uh, I'm going to tell you what, guys, uh, you know, and you may agree or disagree with this assessment, but uh, I wouldn't mess with country folk, okay? Um... People in the country know how to live. They know how to survive. City folks, you know, they feel themselves superior. Like, here's one of the things that I love that I get a lot. I get told, especially like when I had my beard on over the winter, uh, that I was just an ignorant hillbilly up in the hills. And I, I always laughed at that because, you know, I am a nurse, so I am educated. And, uh, you know, I'm not an ignorant hillbilly. Just because I choose to live in the country and in the hills... 
because I want the peace uh, doesn't make me ignorant or stupid. But, you know, again, there's that snap judgment that people are going to have. You know, it's just like people are going to look at somebody, and everybody does it, so don't tell me, oh, I never do that. Everybody does it. You will take a look at somebody, and you make a snap judgment based on the fact that they have tattoos, based on the fact that, uh, you know, the way they dress, um, you know, what color hair that they're using. Like, you know, like now it's fashionable to have all kinds of crazy colors in your hair. Would I do it? No, well, I'm also bald, so, but I shave my head on purpose, but, you know, those are the things. I mean, everybody has a right to their own views, and uh, it just, I, I just, I don't think a lot of people think that way, especially your, your, a lot of your liberals that are trying to force their views onto everybody else, and I think the other people, the silent majority, are going to take so much, and then they're going to have enough, and they're going to push back. Uh, you know, and I think that's that could be something that could send us into a civil war for sure. But like I said, this wouldn't be a, a north and the south type of situation at all. It would be, you know, your ultra liberals. Now, there's a lot of people out there that are liberal, and like I said, I, I respect everybody's views. You think whatever you want to think, okay? I don't have to agree with you, but if we can live in peace, then great, okay? But, uh, you know, a lot of people unfortunately don't think that way. And, uh, you know, like I said, your silent majority out there is only going to take so much. And like I said, you really, anybody thinking of civil war is not going to want to deal with people that live in the country. People that are prepared. It sucks. What? I see you. Yes. She was climbing me. Um, but yeah, I just, I, I think that it would be a mistake on their part if they try to pursue that thing. Um, you know, it's just, it, it's... It's crazy. I mean, the world has gone crazy. Uh, a lot of people can see that the world has gone crazy. It makes me so much more grateful that I live where I live so that I can have my peace and quiet and not have to deal with the lunacy and the craziness that's going on. Watch. What? You'll see you. What? Hello. Yes, I see you. What? You're stuck? Um, anyhow, it's just... Uh, I, I, I want to hear your guys' feedback on this topic because I think that it's... Uh, something that definitely needs to be discussed and you know everybody's going to have a different point of view and again guys let's have a, a civil debate I you know I, I like I said I respect anybody's views as long as you're not attacking uh, you know each other or somebody else and uh, you know but everybody's got a right to believe what they want to believe and so you know that's uh, it's it's a very strange world out there now and uh, it's kind of scary and like I said, I just, I am very, very happy where I live because I don't have to deal with a lot of stupidity, which I did when I lived in suburbia, which I did when I lived in the city. Um, I've lived in Rochester, New York. Lived all over Rochester, New York when I was younger. And, uh, you know, it's just, uh, as I've gotten older, I wanted peace. And so, you know, that's why we moved here. And uh, it's uh, absolutely wonderful, you know, to have that peace. And just like listening right now, I'm going to turn this back around, but just listening to the rain and watching the rain come down and, uh, you know, listening to the rain hit our metal roof, you know, it's just, it's very, very peaceful and it's quiet and it's just, it's, you know, part of nature. Uh, as you guys can see, I hope, over here, all the stone is now all spread out. I added more stone over in this area, so that's all done now. And, uh, you know, spread things out. I moved some more stone that way. And, uh, you know, I think it came out pretty decent. Uh, that's a grand total of two loads of stone that we've moved. And we're probably going to end up doing another load as well. So now some of you are going to ask how my power production is on a day like today where it's raining. Okay. So let's go in here real quick. And I'll show you. All right, uh, we have a grand total of 1.3 kilowatt hours at this point right now, and it is about 2, 2.30 in the afternoon. So it's, uh, you know, we, we're still getting power even though it's raining. It's just not as much as we would normally. But that's, you know, that's part of what you deal with when you, when you have solar. But anyway, guys, um, I would like your feedback on this topic, and I want to hear what you guys have to think. What do you think of the percentage 
of people that think that we are going to have a civil war. Uh, that's a pretty high percentage, I think. So, what what are your thoughts on it? You know, please like, comment, share the video. Uh, if you're watching for the first time, there's the icon button on the video. Hit that to subscribe. Make sure you hit the bell button to get updates. Um, remember, guys, hug and kiss the ones you love. Tell them every single day. Tomorrow is not guaranteed. We never know what's going to happen. And remember STD. It's one step at a time, one thing at a time, and one day at a time. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever you're trying to accomplish, you can do it. The only one that's going to stop you from getting there is yourself. Nobody else can do it, okay? So hang in there, and I will talk to you all tomorrow. Have a great day. Prepper Nurse 1, out for now.